In the Kitchen with WSLS 10 News, sponsored by FNS Building Innovations. Build smart, build right. Well, it's springtime and we have the perfect themed dessert for you. I'm here with Mary Rappaport with the Virginia Egg Council. Thanks for being here today. You know, Rachel, I love working with you because <laughs> you're like my, per you know, I used to teach. Yes. I was a home ec teacher years yes. ago. And I feel like when I'm with you, I'm teaching you things yes. that you love to learn. You're my favorite also teacher. Also, the folks so. out here. Yeah. We're going to have this lesson today on how mm -hmm. to make choux pastry, which will make you eclairs or cream puffs or whatever else. Mm -hmm. The first thing you do is you bring a cup of water, which okay. is in here, uh -huh. and a stick of butter okay. to a boil, and okay. it melts. So you can see what's happened right here. So that's all done. And then I'm going to take it off the heat and add to it a cup of flour, and you mix this up, and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. You mix this up like this, and once okay. it's all combined, this is the weird thing right now. You put it back on the heat, and then you cook this and stir it until it forms a ball. Oh. And it, this takes about two minutes. It's okay. on very low heat, but what you're doing is you're cooking that gluten in the from the flour mm -hmm. and the water and the butter and mixing it all up. Okay, you can see what's happened here. It's formed a ball and I've cooked it for, I've stirred it on the heat for about two minutes. And now mm -hmm. what you do is you have four eggs Mm -hmm. cracked and ready to go mm -hmm. and you start adding eggs one at a time and the eggs are at room temperature okay so I'm adding the eggs one at a time and eventually you'll get a really smooth pastry okay okay and you can see what the pastry looks like now see it's all creamy mm -hmm. and just really just beautiful you can uh, the egg yolks and the butter make a beautiful yellow color. And then what you do is you have mm -hmm. a, a cookie sheet, mm -hmm. and on the cookie sheet you put some parchment, and then you're going to use about a scant, when I say scant, mm -hmm. a little bit less than a whole quarter of a cup. And to make, um, to make the eclairs, you're going to make them into fingers. Okay. Well, I call them fingers, like an inch wide and about four inches long. And you put them about an inch, or, an inch or two inches apart. We bake it um, about 425 for 20 minutes, and then after 20 minutes, you open the oven, you just kind of pierce them with mm -hmm. a knife, and it kind of lets them steam out, mm -hmm. and you let them go for about another five or 10 minutes. And this is okay. what they look like when they're done. Mm -hmm. So now we have to fill them. Okay. Let's go ahead, and you grab one, All and right. I'll grab one, and then just hold it like this in your mm -hmm. hand, and we're gonna slice it on the, no, 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 on the, on side? the side, yeah. Okay. Well, you can do it on the top if you want to, but we're gonna slice it in the side like this. Okay. I'm gonna start off with, putting um, some cream right here and go ahead and you put right. just a big dollop of cream right there and then some strawberries like so oh those look great and then put them on the, on the plate and then always when you bake what I love is powdered sugar on top mm -hmm. because what happens is it just kind of, it's like the finishing touch. Yeah. And it just is wonderful. So, and when you eat them, you can just pick them up and eat them like this or cut them with a fork. And these are strawberries and cream eclairs. I have to try one. Yeah, go ahead. I have and try to try one. one. Yeah. Oh, oh, goodness. I love it. And the, the pastry can be shaped into tiny little cream puffs, into mm. actual big cream puffs. What do you think? That's it's good. Great. Isn't That's, it a nice, it's a yeah. nice fresh taste. Mm -hmm. And, um, Really perfect, and try these if you've never tried cream puffs before. Oh, um, try them; they're just they're super easy to make yeah. once you get the hang of it. It is. Yeah. This was a lot easier than when I thought it would be, and I can't wait to try this on my own. Good. Thank you so much for sharing your recipe. We'll have that um, on our website as well as a link to the Virginia Egg Council, where you have lots of other great websites Lovely recipes. listed. Mm -hmm.